Hey guys, welcome back to another video. In this video, I am going to be going over the recent announcements, including a brand new skill coming to RuneScape in 2023. I am also going to speculate on some possibilities of what this skill might be. There are four possible skills that I think this skill could be, so I will be going over each one of those. But first, let's look at what is coming in RuneScape. So first off, for the rest of 2022, we can expect some master max capes. And what I'm thinking this is, is we're finally going to get a max cape for having 120 in each skill, or at least 120 in all the 120 skills. So I am uh, expecting that, and that's going to be a welcome change. I know a lot of people in the community have been asking for that. We're going to get some new skilling locations, so I'm assuming that's some new skilling methods. More retro overrides, more ninja strikes, which we recently did get one, um, which actually scales Solak down to solo, so that's uh, very much welcome. And uh, new Jagex launcher, personally I don't use the Jagex launcher, so uh, I'm not too interested in that. In 2023, uh, we are going to get a brand new storyline, so I'm assuming the Elder God Wars storyline is finally going to come to an end and we're going to start building on a new storyline. We're also going to finally get the updated death costs and the updated grand exchange system where basically there is no cap to, um, to money. You'll be able to buy items for hundreds of billions of coins on the grand exchange so that's going to be extremely exciting and that should come in early 2023 we can also expect to get some new training methods and some new quests and most excitingly we can expect to get a new skill in 2023 so first off we don't really have any information about this skill all we know is that for some months now they have been working on runescape's next new skill and i do want to go into some possibilities of what this skill might be so there are four main possibilities that i can think of and uh, actually a few of them were uh, possibilities for old school runescape but i think they might actually come into the game for runescape 3. so the skills that i think we might see include an artisan skill which is essentially going to be like slayer for skilling we could also see a necromancy skill which would be a combination of prayer summoning and maybe magic we could even see a warding skill which is essentially magic armor crafting so just crafting for magic armor and weaponry and of course uh, the fan favorite we could possibly see sailing and let's go into some more detail of each of these skills. So first off let's look at the artisan skill and this is a pretty unique skill. Um, personally I'm someone who loves slayer so having a slayer type skill for all of the uh, well artisan skills or skilling skills I think that would be an interesting skill to have and something that might actually have a place in RuneScape 3. So essentially this skill is all about creating items and you'll be able to get assignments which will relate to the following skills. So it will relate to rune crafting, construction, herb lore, crafting, fletching, smithing, cooking, farming, could even be invention and uh, possibly a few others. So essentially you will get these tasks to create a, a certain item from one of these skills and once you create enough of these items you will be able to give them in uh, sort of a lot like a daily challenge and you will get artisan xp for that the skill does seem quite unique because it does have some unique rewards to it so um th this write-up which was done by mod matt k uh, back in uh, 2014 i believe um he did actually write up uh a pretty decent overview of what this skill could look like for old school runescape mind you um, but some of these uh, rewards include just an overall damage increase which um, would be extremely helpful for pvm there's also um, 
basically boosts to artisan tools so you could get a better hatchet or a pickaxe um, by basically enhancing them with um, what's called motes of inspiration which are a reward from completing these artisan assignments personally I think this skill is quite unique I think it might have a place in RuneScape 3 just because it will actually provide boosts to uh, gathering skills you'll be able to get a better hatchet better pickaxe maybe even a better matic for archaeology so it is quite unique and um, it might be the new skill that we see in 2023. Another popular idea that a lot of people think this new skill could be is the skill Necromancy. Now this concept design document was created by Mr. Stark, at least that is his RS3 name, um, and he did a great job of basically designing this skill and giving an idea of what Necromancy could be. Now he believes this could be an elite skill which requires level 80 prayer, summoning, and slayer. Uh, Jagex did previously mention that they don't really want another elite skill in the game. They don't really like the idea of it. Um, but still, never nevertheless, this could be just a regular skill that we see come into the game. Basically, the skill revolves around summoning undead monsters. So he mentions that the skill could be when you kill a mob, um, of course they drop either a bone or ashes most of the time, and if you bury the bone or scatter the ashes, you'll have a chance at summoning one of these creatures in their ghost form. And this creature will be able to fight alongside you. So this will be somewhat like summoning, however, um, you will only be able to summon it um, by things like scattering ashes or burying bones. There's also the idea of using the, um, the Ushabis that you get through Slayer, so where you capture the souls of the creatures, that maybe you can use that some way into creating um, basically a creature that fights alongside you. So it does have a lot of that summoning feel where you have um, basically a creature that is helping you fight. However, it's going to be an undead type creature, and it probably wouldn't last as long as a summoning creature would. You can see in this document, um, Mr. Stark actually did go through a whole bunch of possible uh, abilities that you could use. And the way he designed this is it could be somewhat like a prayer uh, skilling book, where you could just use these necromancy um, spells whenever you would like. So this is a pretty complex idea and it definitely could potentially be the skill we see in 2023. Um, it does have a bit of a combat aspect to it, um, so I'm not sure if um, they would like to basically add another buff to combat, um, but it would be really interesting and I think a lot of players would like to see Necromancy be the next skill in RuneScape 3. Another possible skill that we could see is the warding skill. Now warding was actually quite close to being introduced to old school RuneScape. Um, it went through a whole design phase and they even created this concept art which you are watching right now. Uh, basically they had the whole skill designed which makes me think that this easily could be implemented in RuneScape 3. Now the reason why warding was not actually introduced to old school RuneScape is because it did not pass the poll. Basically 66.4% of people who voted on the poll said yes to warding, but 33.6% said no. So it failed to reach the 75% approval mark, which means that warding was never actually added to the game. There was a lot of dev time used on the skill and a lot of concept art and design was put into it, so there is actually a fairly good idea of what the skill is. Essentially it is crafting but for magic armor and weaponry. Warding does seem to have a pretty good fit in this game. First off you have smithing where you're able to smith tier 90 melee armor and tier 90 melee weapons. You could even get to tier 92 essentially if you can make the uh, Masterwork Spear of Annihilation. 
And then again, uh, you have your ranged armor where you can craft uh, tier 90 ranged armor, but you can't really craft any great weapons. With magic, you can craft the tier 90 um, mage power armor, but again, there aren't really much weapons there. And you can't craft that much uh, armor for both magic and ranged. So if warding was to be uh, introduced, it could provide a lot new magic armor and weaponry, uh, and it would be craftable. Uh, they could also maybe rework crafting a little bit and giving give it more of a ranged skill feel, um, where you can craft ranged armor and ranged weaponry. Um, so I, I could see that happening in the future. It does make sense since we do have smithing uh, to basically have a smithing skill for both magic and ranged. So that's essentially uh, warding and how I see the skill. It is definitely a possibility that it could come into the game. I think that since there was already a lot of design around this, this new skill, um, I think that is actually a pretty big positive since it will make it a lot easier for uh, Jagex to implement this into RuneScape 3. Um, but then again, it's only a possibility, um, so we never know. Another possible skill is the fan favorite and basically meme skill of RuneScape, which is sailing. So scaling definitely is a possibility, it has been teased over and over again. There is even an old school RuneScape sailing trailer where they did an early prototype of how the skill may work. Basically, it could be trained through navigating, exploration, and shipbuilding. Sailing could integrate its way with pre-existing skills in the game already as well. It could uh, implement itself with construction, where you're building a ship. You would, could use smithing, where you're smithing cannonballs for your ship, um, and crafting for other things with your boat. So there are ways it could um, integrate itself well with other skills. Um, you would have your exploration part, where you could have um, possibly new artifacts that you could find underwater. You could find treasure in these uh, pirate ships or whatnot. So there is some different uh, possibilities with sailing. Um, it probably won't be like uh, player own ports, that is quite boring. Um, but it does have more of that exploration type feel, um, where you're actually looking and searching for loot. I think it could actually do well, and it is an interesting possibility. And those are my thoughts for four of probably the most likely skills that we will see in 2023. We will know a lot more about these skills soon, but let me know in the comments what skill you guys would prefer to see in RuneScape 3. Anyway guys, I really hope you did enjoy this video. Of course, everything in this video was pure hypothetical and nothing is confirmed as of yet. But again, really interested to see what you guys think of these possible skills. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you all in the next one. Peace.